about Job. Now you all know Job was murmuring and Job was saying, why did I, why wasn't I, why did not, why wasn't I die, why did I die in my mother's womb? But God said about Job that he was a perfect and upright man. If God called you perfect, then that's what you are. Amen? If, if that's what, if God says that you're perfect, then that's what you are. Amen. So I don't care, the church of God, you ought to say, I don't care what people think. What people think are, is irrelevant. What people think is of no account. What God says, that's the only thing that matters. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. And if God say perfect, then I'm perfect. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the standard that the Lord is going to use will be a perfect standard. Amen. Now, church, again, I say everything that we do is written in a book. Every thought that we think, every action that we undertake, everything is written in, in a book. Amen. And, and this is true to the smallest thought, to the biggest action. All is in the book. And really, when we turn to the book, to the last, now we're reading from the last book in the Old Testament. When you turn to the last book in the New Testament, you know what he says? And the books shall be open. Revelation 20 and 12. And the books shall be opened and the book. One of these days we're going to be technological savvy up in here. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the book. And then we're going to take your life. And it's going to be a book. And we're going to overlay your life with the book. And see if it measures up to the book. Amen. God is going to open up the book. And your life should be measured up, going to be compared to the book. So your life is one of the books. Amen. And you're going to have to be measured up to the book. Church of God, amen. When we go to the book, can we walk into the word of the Lord? And when the word of the Lord speaks, does it say amen about us? Or does it say ouch about us? Amen. When the word of God, do we find ourselves... Amen. Living in the Word or just carrying a book. Church of God, we're going to be judged out of the things that are written in the book. Amen. What manner of life ought we to live if you know, if you know that tomorrow, everything that you do today will be plastered so that the world can see it, what kind of life would you live today? What would you do today? What would you eat? If you knew that tomorrow, Everybody in the world was going to see the light, amen, of Melody Moyo to, tomorrow. Then what would you, when you woke up this morning, would you, having consciousness of that, how would you have conducted yourself? Amen. Would it shake? Ah, glory to God. Amen. If you knew that Robert Lucero would be plastered, amen, so that all of India and China, amen, and Antigua and Africa go see Robert Lucero, what would you have done, amen, for the course of the day? Church of God, the books will be open one day. Amen. Everything that we do will be called into question, and everyone must give account. In light of this church, we should really take evaluation. Before we do anything, we need to reevaluate really what do we call our pursuit. Because as I talk to you all about that, his, that, that little brief history lesson, now if I was to step outside of America for one moment and go to Haiti, the Haitians might remember this major earthquake from two weeks, amen, a few, few months ago. You step over into Thailand, and they might remember the tidal wave that killed, the tsunami that killed 200,000 people. Different, amen. The people in Afghanistan might remember, amen, the invasion. The people in Iraq might remember the day when the statue fell of Saddam Hussein. Amen. Different people have different things that they remember. My God. Amen. When we are here in the United States of America, it's amazing what we have. We bought into a concept, a whole, and really it's a dream. They call it the American dream. Everybody have this pursuit of a house that you own, 
the ability to send some kids to school and have a car to drive and have a modicum of freedom. But church, is that really what it's all cracked up to be? Amen. My God, hallelujah. Sometimes you need to actually take things and say, am, am I going along with a tradition that is good am I, or am I just going along with something never questioning where is this road taking me to? We need to always reevaluate, check and double check and see what is the result, amen, of the direction that I'm heading. Amen. Church of God, the thing called the American dream, amen, and, and, and isn't it, I just want you all to look for one moment at what we call good and what we call bad. You can have somebody, amen, who lives in Medina, amen, that's over there in Bellevue, in the high rent city. I'm talking about the Clyde Hill of Medina, amen, this is where the billionaires live. And these guys can sit down and write programs, amen, that, have, that, that operate in computer games. They make billions of dollars off of, amen, computer games. And they will drive up in their limousine, yes they will, my God, in their Maybachs, in their brand new business, amen, have on some nice clothes, walk in, and because they are billionaires, amen, they will be held in high esteem because of their wealth. Something is wrong with that picture. Amen. The wealth comes from making some dumb computer game that's going to keep your child, amen, an idiot for the rest of the... <laughs> I go, wake up, everybody. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That computer game is doing nothing to help society, amen, in a valuable and viable way. It's time to wake up, church. Amen. We call, amen, somebody, amen, who can shoot a basketball, who can throw a football, amen, who can hit a baseball. I was listening, and they was talking about paying Der Derek Jeter, giving him a three-year contract for $45 million, amen, for hitting and catching a baseball. Now, I know he can probably do it better than everybody here, amen, in Washington State, especially those on the Mariners roster. But, <laughs> amen, but, but, but here we call, that's what the Lord is saying. You call the good, here we call the good, we call the bad good, and the good we call bad. Amen. This same person that you would call good, if they was to give up that $45 million and begin to pursue, amen, a true investment in their soul, people will, be called, will, will call them stupid now. If they would, amen, give up all of their wealth and says that now I'm going to pursue the mind of God, I need to know what God said. And then they would show up faithfully, amen, at a little gathering, amen, of the Father's House Church like this with their hands lifted up and their mouth filled with praise. Surely the world will call them stupid and some of you all might be tempted to do that. But church, when you know that they are filled with the Holy Ghost and that the presence of the Lord is in their heart, when they know that, amen, that they are putting up treasures in heaven, then what you might be calling stupid, God is calling good. Amen. For it is all about, amen, Hallelujah, the true worship of the living God. Amen. You see, church, it's not good for us to invest ourselves in things that don't profit us eternally. And the church said, Amen. Amen. My God, for in the book, I'm going to get you, Richard. In the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse uh, 15 through 17, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 